Making images of people, the human form, is perhaps one of the oldest art traditions we share. This exhibition, figuratively speaking, brings together eight artists from Queensland and the Northern Territory, both Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal artists, looking at um, the human figure from close up or from afar. And they're making photographs, paintings, sculpture, collagraphs, and other mixed media works. Itamar Freed looks at classical sculpture, replacing the figures with himself and his partner, mixing time and culture. Alice Springs artist Rod Moss uses self-portraiture as a reference to different times and cultures. Rod has his own form of revisionist history where he replaces figures in compositions with himself and his Aboriginal friends. Scott Redford is renowned for his ironic interpretations of his hometown on the Gold Coast. This is a voyeuristic snap of mundane life at the beach. Whilst travelling around Australia, my own work incorporates images of families and the sea. Ian Waldron uses images of family and friends working on country, Delta Downs Cattle Station. Fiona Aminio is a feature artist of this exhibition with both a painting and the sculptural form. She uses family and kinship connections as a prime device to locate the spirit in the land. David Polson is the other feature artist in this exhibition. His new range of collagraph prints and drawings have been produced in his Mullaney studios over the last year. Self-isolation has never been a problem for this artist, using the recent quieter weeks to complete a suite of 46 new collagraphs titled Life's Little Ironies, and also a new suite of eight mixed media self-portraits on paper. Yeah, drawing, drawing is, um, drawing is uh, your, your private language, like, like music. Drawing, drawing is the thing, it, it's the first way we have as a child to express ourselves. And um, at 75 year old, I'm, I'm just about out of my childhood now. Face Dreaming looks at the idea of a cultural identity, a portrait utilising features of the artist country. Phil Gordon's outdoor bronze sculpture, Trees and Rain, was actually inspired by the late Kimberley Aboriginal artist, David Downs, and his Kurtile image, who was a powerful creator spirit figure. This exhibition finishes July 25.